Yes. Good morning, every single person. Thank you so much for being on this call. Thank you, Mr. Mukoro, for being on the call. Thank you so, so much. I truly do appreciate your coming. Uh, as always, before we get rolling, I will just run off by the ground rules and I will go through the profile of our speaker for today. So welcome, welcome to the 17th edition of The Discovery. Thank you for joining us on behalf of Gilbert and myself. We say a big thank you for coming and you are in for a great time. I can assure you there will be no dull moment. Everyone's mic is muted as you will have noticed. You will not be able to unmute yourself so that we avoid distractions and um, uh, uh, interruptions while the discussion is going on. If you have questions, please use the chat room. Depending on time, we may have time for one or two people to ask questions directly if you are in that if you're called upon please use the keypad to raise your hand and you'll be acknowledged and ask your question straight to the point so that we can maximize our time so the discovery the discovery is that weekly business opportunity meeting put together by tim grace international also known as the game changers the purpose is one, to show the legality of this industry many people are ignorant of. Two, to show a unique company playing in that space, albeit quietly with huge opportunities that many people are currently ignorant of. And number three is to welcome new people to the industry and specifically to the company that we proudly partner with. In Team Grace, Grace makes us the game changers. And this program is life, like I said earlier, on the Game Changers Network page on Facebook. So, the team coach, on behalf of the team coach and myself, again, I want to welcome you to the 17th edition of The Discovery. Let's meet our guest. Our guest for today is a staff of Total Nigeria PLC. They are the oil guys. He joined Total immediately after finishing his secondary school in September 1994. And he had to do this because there was no money to continue his education. Wow. And he rose from being a pump attendant to the position of a station dealer. You have no excuse. And then he veered into entrepreneurship in November 2015 as a side hustle. Today, that side hustle has given him financial freedom. He's a start director with Longridge Bioscience, and he has produced several leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome with me, our guest for today, a happily married man with five lovely children. Let's use the keypad to make welcome Mr. Eric Umukoro. So let's use our keypad. Let's make him feel welcome. Let's use our keypad. Let's type something in there to tell him that he's most welcome. I can say the team coach is clapping physically. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So I'm coming to you. Good evening, sir. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. It's Thank always, you. It's always morning, Longridge. Morning. Always morning. Thank you so yeah. much. Good morning. Wow. How are you today and how is the oil industry? I'm good and the oil industry is there. We, we are hopeful that we get better, but it's not the oil uh, sector that we joined uh, over 20 years ago that we are seeing today. Hmm. But we are still hopeful. Wow. So, being in the oil industry where the dollars are flowing, how did you find your way into entrepreneurship and you found a new oil well that is still current? Can you tell us about your entrepreneurial journey? Well, um, now you rightly introduced. Um, I left, when I left school, secondary school to be precise, in 1994, I could not further my education and I have to join Tuta as a pump attendant. Then I didn't even know that I can make any headway in Tuta, but for something to do, I have to join Tuta. Now, while I'm in Tuta, you know, I always believe that, uh, I always believe in, you know, streams of income, multiple streams of income. So yeah. while I'm in total, I've actually ventured into 
different businesses and uh, you know most of the cases uh, they didn't work out and uh, i've actually done a network marketing a company in the past in two, between 2003 and 2004 and it actually didn't work out for me at all and uh, when i left that network business i was still doing other things to add to what i'm doing because when you depend on said when you are depending on one stream of income especially salary you are a step away from poverty Mm. If anything can happen to that salary job and uh, you are gone. So I was actually looking around for other things to do. And the language came my way accidentally. But when I left my other company in 2000, the other network in 2004, I did it for over a year, you know. And uh, when I left there, I was like, I'm not interested in anything networking again because all the promises... <laughs> You know, all the promises they gave to me when I got to those positions, they were all fake. So since then, I told myself I'm not interested in network marketing. I accidentally got myself involved in this one. So wow. that's just my, you know, the short, longer short story on how I actually <coughs> joined long before. But I'll give the details as time goes on. Wow. So this is not your first venture into entrepreneurship via network marketing let's let let's rewind a bit today everybody wants to be an entrepreneur everybody wants to start their business salaries are failing people are losing their jobs so if i'm to come to you and ask you for counsel what will be your counsel to me and why will you be pointing me in that direction <laughs> well today I thank God for long reach because uh, uh, now I now I know that you know because in even when I started long reach I wasn't sure of it I, but I see people making money and I felt that if they can make money me too I can make money too so that's how I joined long reach and uh, people when I even see people going around to look for job I look at them and laugh because wow. I believe that we have a better way. In network marketing, we have a better way. Just that we have to look for, you know, the genuine one because we have so many of them out there deceiving people. Mm. So you, I, my advice to people now, I, I don't even see when I see people looking for a job, I laugh at them because the people that are in the job that they are praying to God every day. It's not a prayer point for them not to be stuck, and you are carrying your CV up and down. Hmm. So some, most time I, I laugh at them. So my advice to people now is to embrace network marketing you wow. know, as a, you know, the route to, to, to wealth, route hmm. to, uh, you know, where that will not only serve you, but serve generation to come. You understand? So if you come to me now that um, for advice, whether you should look for a job or you should embrace network marketing, I'll not waste time to actually tell you that you go ahead and start look for a good network i will not even tell you you must not do the one that i am doing now you understand yeah. if you look at my own now you are not sure of it you mm. can go and look for other one to do but i will tell you that there are no more jobs out there mm. you know people are even afraid to lose the one they have that you want to go and look for a job there are no jobs Wow. So my, my advice to people is to embrace network marketing. Embrace, network, ma embrace yeah. network marketing. So no matter the company, network marketing as an industry is worth joining. Thank you yeah. so much. So if you are out there listening, it's not about company now. We're talking so we're starting from industry. There are various routes to wealth, but the surest route today is network marketing. But you said to me earlier that you started with another company, but now you are with Longridge. What makes Longridge that unique company that you have stayed with for about five years going? Yeah, uh, like I told you, the last one I joined, that was the first network marketing. And I told myself it's going to be the last. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that's what I told myself for 11 years. For 11 years, I was scared when you mentioned network. It's all the same one I left, you know, uh, many of them will come to my office and they will see 
be repeating the same lies that I was told when, uh, you know, before I joined that, that particular one. And uh, I will tell them, look, if you, I'll give, I'll ask them a lot of questions because I'll never tell them I've joined that company before. I'll just ask them a lot of questions. They cannot come up with the answer. I'll just tell them, please go and meet your offline manager. Mm. You know, if you can come and answer all these questions, I will join your team. Mm. You know, because in short, in 2000, I, I left that company in 2004. Mm. I, I started around 2000 and, uh, 2003, around March, and I left 2004, December. So I spent over a year there. You know, mm. while I was there, I brought a lot of people into the business and the uh, the problem I, I had with the company is this, uh, you know, um, monthly commitment. You have to buy mm. every month. Every month. You know, every month you have to buy. If you don't buy, at the end of the month, you will not be paid, no matter how many activities you have, you know, in your network. So you see yourself buying products, and they are the products, number one, they are, most of them are supplements. Hmm. And you know, I know our people in this part of the world, they are not, uh, you know, they are reactive. They are not proactive. They, they, the maintenance culture is not there. You know, they want to have headache before they drink paracetamol. Hmm. If you tell them take paracetamol so that I will not have headache, they will not take it until they have that headache. Hmm. So seeing myself doing a network of, uh, you know, um, supplements, you know, most times you talk to people, they answer, are you a doctor? Mm. And I'm not in any way in the medical profession. So I, I see myself that I'm actually doing the wrong business that is giving me the wrong um, a result, you know. So I have to leave the business, the company. I then, I managed to have that 200 people under my network. Wow. But at the end of the day, you end up buying products for you to be active in the company. You know, you need to buy product close to one that twenty thousand every month. Mm. You know, um, if you maybe you have to sign up some people, bring in like two people that will do like eighty thousand, mm. and you do forty thousand for yourself. Mm. But if you can't bring those people, you have to do the whole one hundred and seventy thousand. Wow! You know, so at the end of the month, you may not even end up to hundred thousand. Mm. You know, so and the product is something you cannot sell. You end up dashing them out because you force it or you force them on people. Because for you to sell, you are now you are not anxious to sell. You not force the yeah. product. Even the people even need it. They say take. No worry. When you get money, come pay. Mm. And you know that kind of thing. Nobody will want to pay you that kind of money. Of you are forcing the product on them. So at the end of the day, I found that we were losing. I spent 120 to buy products. Sometimes I get 70k. Sometimes we get less than that in a month. And uh, every month you have to buy. Before you know, the month is gone. I have to buy. You mm. don't have a choice. So at the time, the thing is not crashing with my total job. And then I've been in total for I joined total 94. So then I'll be in total for like uh, 10 years. I have to choose between total and that company because if you need you know, eating into my total job. Wow. So that's one, I have to leave that company to focus on my total work, you know, so that it will not affect my job, you know. Wow. And if I just have to leave, I just have to leave. And after that, anything that has to do with network marketing, I put myself, I not get myself involved again. Wow. You know, until this opportunity came. So what makes Long Bridge different? Okay, number one, Number one, let me tell you my story, how I joined Longwish. Yes. Okay. Um, I was having head challenges. Serious one. I was having serious head challenges, you know, between 2008 and 2015, before I joined Longwish, I was really very down. So hmm. I started, I started, um, one day I went to our office in total. Because I'm a fee staff, I run the, the station. I went to my office in Total in Bini. There I met my up lifestyle director, uh, Tega Basi. Okay. I, I'm sure you know her. Yes, I do. Okay, the husband, the husband has been in your program too. Both of them have been yeah. here. Okay, okay, that's good. 
So I met her there and she just gave me the toothpaste. She said, ah, okay, Eric, says this toothpaste is very good, test it. She gave it to me. I was the was like, ah, this one, they dashed me toothpaste. And I asked her, do you have another one? She said, yes. She I said, okay, bring it. And I bought another one from her. And she gave me the fryer <clears throat> that I should go through the fryer, that there are so much other products there that I may love. I said, okay, no problem. And she kind of mentioned network thing. And you know, once you mention that network thing, you just put it up. <laughs> so <laughs> when I got back, I was like, I didn't even know where I kept that fryer. Wow. I didn't look at it. I just used the, the toothpaste, and the toothpaste was wow. You mm. know, because when I was growing up, I have this toothache, and my mom, um, and the last uh, son, uh, child of my mom, my mom had eight, you know, uh, and the last. So I grew up to meet my mom that she's having serious toothache, and I grew up to meet my own too. So I was managing the toothache, you know. There's nothing that I use for toothache that I will not know, hmm. you know. And anytime I want to have malaria, the toothache is the one that will come, tell me that your malaria is coming. <laughs> yeah, and this thing is, is very, very up to, you understand. So yeah. I, I took the toothpaste, I went home, I used the toothpaste, it was wonderful, you know. So after using, I used the toothpaste, within a week, you know, those serious ache I was feeling, I didn't see them again, and I was like, wow, this toothpaste is wonderful. You know, it ended, it ended there, so I started using the paste, until they start calling, the husband started calling me Mr. Bassi, mm. you know, then they were based in Bini. She started calling, he started calling me that uh, I she was introducing different products, Many times he said he's coming to meet me in worry. I dodged him many times because I don't want any wahala. Anything that has to do with network, I see it as wahala at that time. So <laughs> I keep I keep evading him, you know, uh, until one time he not came. Then I was actually looking for good water to drink. Even before then, I was having head challenge, a lot of them. And I know that water is my problem. Mm. I know. With research, I know that water is my problem. Even my doctors were telling me that I should be drinking a lot of water. But the problem is that they will not tell you the, the kind of water you should be drinking. Mm. Okay? So, but with research, I now find out that, that the water I'm drinking, even then, if I don't see ever water, I will not drink. Mm. Anywhere I eat, if it's, no matter how good that bottle of water looks, if it's not ever, I will not drink. Because mm. that's what my doctor said, I should be drinking only ever water. Wow. You know, but the, my problem did not go, you know, it's still there. <clears throat> but if somebody introduced me to a, a kind of grass, a device, they call BioDisc. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you've heard about yeah. it before. Yeah, I know about uh, it. So, BioDisc is a, a, a grass device, you know, yeah. uh, invented by a one... One is a doctor, is it not a German doctor? Yeah. You know, the market, um, the QNET market it. Yes. You know, there's it one is, yeah. uh, company called QNET that yeah. markets it. Yeah. You know, I bought it, I imported it from Manisha, you know, early 2015. So one of my bosses that recommended it for me when I was still complaining about everyday manure and typhoid, you know, he now recommended it. I bought it. You know, the work of that bio disc is just to, you know, restructure the water. You know, many water we drink today, they are unstructured. Sure. So the work of the bio disc is just to restructure the water. Yeah. So I, I used the bio disc, it gave me little results, but not that kind of testimony I was saying when mm. I, you know, asked, I tried to investigate it before I bought it. But along the line, I was introduced to this alkaline cup. Yeah, by uh, Mr. Bassi, he mentioned it to me. I went into research and I found out that that cup is something else. Yeah, you know, not just we, we always call it alkaline, alkaline cup, alkaline cup. That cup is no dead, you know, just no, not just about the alkalinity, you know, that cup is antioxidant, has antioxidant property, it, it's a uh, restructure that water we drink, okay. 
that's a cup. Mm -hmm. You know, we structure the water that we drink. You know, it, it, ha it has zinc inside. It has iron, iron. A lot of, when I researched on that cup, I was like, ha, ah, this one is wonderful. Let me go for the cup. I bought the cup and I started using the cup. And within weeks of using the cup, I started noticing a lot of changes in my system. Wow. You know, and then Mr. Bassi, they will be calling me, I should join this, I should join that. I said, I'm not joining anything. So something happened in March, that same 2015. In March that 2015, something happened. Mr. Bassi now called me, he sent me a flyer, an e flyer that they are doing a presentation here in Worry. Somebody is actually coming from Uyo, you know, for the presentation. And I was invited. Hmm. You know, that day I was supposed to attend a burial. A burial that they came to my house to invite me with a bottle of wine. You know, <laughs> so you know that kind of thing that trap they set for you. Yeah. You know, so I was like, what do I do? Should I leave the burial and go to this thing? Or I should go to there? I was like, you know, divided in thought. But at the end of the day, Mr. Bassi keep telling me, it's coming to be there worried because of me for this presentation. It's coming to worry because of me for this presentation. I was like, this one I want. I wish one I go go now when we had that no. This one wish I go no go when we had that no go come. At the end of the day, I said, okay, let me attend the presentation. Then <clears throat> I'll find money and give to the other woman that invited me for the mother. Yeah. <clears throat> so that decision no, uh, no changed my life. You understand? Sometimes when we call people for presentations on Saturday, you will not see them. On Sunday, you will not see them. But call them for party, the place will pull. Yeah. You know? But that decision, and not, not to attend that barrier, but to attend that presentation changed my life. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was not going mm -hmm. for that presentation, I I called um, one of my friends. I called... I called about five people, some of my colleagues in total. I called my some of my friends. I say, "Mo go here waiting the world talk stuff." Mm. <laughs> you know. So I went there. I went there with about four or five people. You know, I was the only person invited, but I invited other people. Yeah. I want I yeah. want them to, you know, to look at it and uh, seek their own opinion. So that was why I now went with them. When I got there, it's the same thing that I was hearing when I was in the other one. They talk about money. <laughs> talk about trips, talk about cars, talk about many, many things. So it's just that at the end of the day, I wasn't in place at all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the only difference that I had is that you don't have to buy product every mm -hmm. month. That's the only thing that I, I picked from that meeting. You know, and when I go, when we go back, you know, I was interested to join. But something happened. Mm. One of the people I went there with, he was actually my strongest leg in the other company that was, mm. you know. So he kept telling me that, ah, this, in short, before we left that place, he started telling me that, ah, this business, still go join us, me go join us. Yeah. I was not asking, I'm the one that invited, what did you see here that is, that is telling you what wants to join, wants to join? Is it not the same thing we were hearing before we joined the other one? He said, no, he, go, he wants to join, wants to join. Nah. He now said something, he said, look, he said, Eric, you know that I'm your downline in the other side. So here, I want to join first, so you'll be my downline. <laughs> ah. I told him that it's not possible. It's not done that way now. I'm the one that invited you. If you were the one that invited me now, I will understand. But I'm the one that invited you. The guy did not let me sleep that night. He was telling me that I should send him Mr. Bass's number. That he wants to join, wants to join. This is where your brother hurt now. You know, and then I was like, I I was tempted to even give him Bassi's number. That and then if you want to go join, may go join. But I have a second thought. I told myself, if I allow this man to go join now, you know, he can't start to make money. I decide to join. I join under him. I said, no, 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 no. I just bring out money, call Mr. Bassi, and I got myself registered. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So when I now register, I now call him that guy, come, I don't join, I come join. Say, ah, Eric, you don't start, you don't start. Eh? You have be your damn life for the other side. Want me, may I be your damn life for you? I say, let me invite you to go. So you will be my damn life here, okay? 
So that is how I actually started. Wow. And now let me tell you another. Let me tell you something else. When I started, you know, because I've seen big money, you know, somebody that is coming from the oil sector, mm -hmm. you have seen money. You know, so um, when I started, that's the trick to this business. So everybody on this corner should listen very well. Mm. You know, when I started, I started seeing 2,000, 3,000. When I started, I just brought in, I just, the two of my colleagues that I went with me, I just answered, well, I'm going to bring my money. They brought their money. I signed off that my uh, my other downline, the other company. Mm -hmm. I signed both of them. So I just got my three legs that same week, you know, and uh, we started doing small, small things. But lo and behold, the money that was coming was very meager, very small, mm. 2,000, 1,000. So weeks I would not even get. I was like, now this one I will keep myself on top. We went down see millions. Now I go to see 1,000, 2,000. What is mm -hmm. this for? Is it for a charge card or what? Mm. You know? So I, after about a month, not even up to a month, sir. yes, about a month or so, but then it takes uh, five weeks for language to pay. Mm -hmm. You understand? Not now that it's three weeks after the activities. Yeah. You know, so after about a month or so, I see that the money is not coming. I just backed out. Wow. You know? So, Mr. Bassi, they keep calling me, calling me, calling me. I will not answer that call again because I know so now because of non that they called me. So, I will never answer that call. The, the other guy that followed me from the other company to non -grish, he started calling me, telling me, Eric, uh, you brought me into this business. You are not there for me. You just put me for center of river. I mm. said, I beg, they, they swim, they go, no worry. <laughs> you know? So, I, it took me up to November. That was why I said I started the business in November. It wow. took me in August of that year, Mrs. Bassi, you know, Tega Bassi, star director, you know, she traveled with the company to U.S. for a state. day. You know, I was still watching. I haven't gone away. I was still watching. By November, when she came back from uh, and, um, U.S. in October, by October that year, when they were doing their, uh, you know, anniversary, she got her car. Hmm. You know, it is when I saw that car that I have to have the second thought. Okay, so when I saw that car, I was like, wow, so Moto Day here, you know, so not that, not that I don't have my cars, I already have been yeah. driving too cheap already, you know, but, you know, in, in what we say, I hope not they get boom, mm. you understand? <laughs> and, uh, I hope not they get boom. I hope not they get boom at all. You know, it is sweeter when somebody else is paying, you know, so I... I call my colleague, I answer how this moto be because the one I did before, when you qualify for car, they will decorate you, they will do you everything. People will say you have you know qualified. But for you to get that car, you have to go and get a higher purchase from the bank, you know. So mm. <clears throat> when I saw this one, I call her, I say, Come, I need to be my colleague. Because that one, nobody will tell you the truth. Yeah. All of them will tell you, say nah, the company give them, the company give them. So this one I call her, I say, come, this will be my colleague. You know, say, if you lie for me, now trouble. How this car be? You know, that's when she not told me, because then she got, uh, the car she uh, took was uh, this uh, Hyundai Nantra, mm -hmm. you know. So I asked her, how this one, because the car she took is uh, 4.1 million, 4.2 after that time. She told me that what she qualified for was 2.6, you know. Uh, I said there was about three million, the two point eight, but she preferred the Enantra, so she has to pay the difference to get the Enantra. I said, if that is the case, then it's better. If yeah. you are, if you choose not to get car, what will happen? You say they will give you your cash. I say yes, this is what I want. That is how. Then another thing that came up, okay, because there are some people on this call now. They were like, you know, I can't talk, I can't do this, I can't yeah. do that. Me. By nature, I'm, a, I'm an introverted fellow. Mm. I, I don't talk. In short, people now, when they see me, they'll say, Eric, you don't school. Now you, they talk like this. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Then I always tell them that I talk when they bring money now that I talk. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, ordinarily, I don't talk. I can be in this house. 
even in my house, you know, I'm like ice water. Mm. You know, I can be in the midst of people, they'll make all the noise and everything. You think that I'm, I'm deaf and dumb. Mm. You know, so another thing that came up, another fear that came up, I said, if I start this business, okay, the business is good. I've seen this woman has traveled to US and came back. She has qualified for car. I've seen the car and she had told me everything about the car. The business is good. Now, my fear now is that if I start, how do I talk to people? Uh -huh. You know, that was not, that was the biggest fear I now have. You know, I said, how do I talk to people? <clears throat> so one thing that happened, one day my boss, you know, at, at, at that time, in, it's not in Abuja, he now called me that, Eric, I know say you don't join this uh, company since, uh, since uh, March. I said, yes. He said, why are you not running it? Can't you see Tega? Hmm. Tega has traveled to U.S., came back, got the car. I said, I'm seeing everything. He said, okay, what is stopping you? I say, oh, guy, you know, sir, no, they for this plenty, plenty talk. You know, he say, Eric, I know you can do it. You know, he keep troubling me that, Eric, I know you can do it. I say, if one day I go home, I said, if my oga, you know, my total oga is telling me that I can yeah. do it, then there's something in me that uh, he's seeing that me, I'm not seeing. So, hello, are you there? Yes, we are with you. So I said that there must be something in me that is seen that me I'm not seeing myself. So one day I go home, I just told myself, let me take up this thing again. You know, that is how I now started in November 2015. And since then, I've not looked back. Wow. Wow. That's how you yeah. started it. So I, I, I'm, still, I'm still looking. I'm, I, I looked at it. Clearly, you came in through products. And some people are on this call. Who will tell me I don't want network marketing again? I feel you. I was in a company very similar to the one you were in, and every time you are doing buy, you must to, you must buy so much to qualify, and then you buy everything, you get ten thousand naira. But I haven't been in this business for this long. Tell us how has it been, particularly with long reach. Well, like I said before, and I'm still saying it now. Long reach is different, very, very different. Because uh, here, I tell people, this is not a buying and selling business. This is a product that uh, God used to save my life. And uh, not just saving my life, it has changed a lot of things about me. Me that I don't talk before, I'm not a different person. I can stand in front of uh, presidents and talk. You know, um, health wise, I'm very sound now. You know, in, in those days before I joined Longridge, I was scared. I was like, I was just in my early, very early 40s. I was just crossing 40s at, at the time. You know, I was having a lot of head challenges. Before 40, I would have from 35, the thing started, you know, up and down. You know, so then I was anxious. You know, I was like, uh, I, I keep. Yeah, I, I was able, before I joined Norwich, I, I started planning how I can be keeping money aside mm. for my medicals, you know, before I now joined Norwich. Now, those people that are on this call, yeah. you, you, need, you need, I tell my team members, everybody must not be, you know, must not be a, a business builder. There are three ways to join Norwich. You know, you can join as a product user. You mm. can join as a business builder. You can join as, as an investor. You know, so you must not tell them to come. Out. They are afraid of joining. When you say join, 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 it's like you are giving them a lot of commitments. They don't want to go back to where they are coming from. Yeah. They don't want to be under pressure. You know, in those, in the, the other one, they keep calling you. I ah, never buy this month. You're supposed to buy and all those stuff. You know, so you need to educate people here. You know, you can lead with your product or you can lead by the opportunity. Those that have, you know, that have done other network before, we are telling you, no matter what you are doing, you need the product. So you can just start as a product user and be on the side. Maybe you can change your mind tomorrow, you know, to be a business builder, just the way I am going now. So we should not uh, uh, kind of uh, push uh, the business on people. You know, if they decide to just use product, let them be... Uh, you know, uh, product users. Yeah. Uh, when they, if they make up their mind, don't sell to them, please. If they really want that toothpaste, create a code for them mm. so that anytime they want to buy the toothpaste.
they can fight at they can go to maybe they are in abuja you know you can just say okay go to our office in abuja present your code and buy at the company's price mm. you understand so that's the way me i tell people in the business i'll be here for five years and i'll be active here for five years so uh when we started we don't know a lot of things but thank god today we are not where we started we know a lot of things in the business now so there are different ways you can actually bring in people here they must not start uh, if they don't want to make the money out of the business but the product is for everybody so hmm. they can join as just product users leave, it, leave them at that as time goes on they might see their friend that is doing very well. They find out that yeah, the person is doing not good. They will remember their code and start calling you. Then yeah. they will be ready to cry. Wow. That's what I say. Thank you very much. I will hold you there. I'm going to come back to you in a moment. And I'll be talking, asking you about the benefits in this company thus far for you. The Naira and Kobo. I want to know how it has been. I want to know how it has been, particularly in the pandemic when we were crying. How was your business? But before you answer that question, let me go off you a bit. I want to thank everyone who is on this call. If you are here on this call and somebody invited you, I want to encourage you to reach out to that person that invited you. If you have not yet signed up, reach out to that person and sign up. Longreach is indeed the place to be. But if you need help, if you need um, somebody to talk to about the business, you can call any of our numbers, 0802-313-4278 or 0809-667-7300 or go to the Facebook page, Game Changers Network, and leave a message there. Definitely somebody would respond to you. And if you also want to see our previous editions, it's on that YouTube page, TGI Entrepreneurs, and the Facebook page, Game Changers Network. So today I'm excited. I'm talking to the oil oil magnet, who is now a long reacher. Pandemic was a tough time. How has this business been for you financially, and how was it during the pandemic? Well, uh, during the pandemic, you know the this Corona COVID nineteen started in China. Yeah, and. Uh, when the thing started, we were scared, number one, that our bonuses will not be paid again because uh, the whole of China was shut down, you know. And uh, what now happened? Uh, our bonuses keep coming in, mm. okay? Keep coming in until um, the car, then we were still running our car promo and our trip promo, China trip. The first three for the year, yeah. you know, and uh, what now happened was that the when the pandemic, when they start, when they shut down the whole of this country in April, you remember that our car promo ended in March 29th. Yes, you know this year, and the, uh, they shut down this country, you know, from first April of yeah. 2020. So we were like, ah, this thing now, our car money will not be paid, you know, and uh, lo and behold, all our car qualification money were all paid that same year, that same month. Wow. The whole country was shut down. Wow. And remember, remember that we work, our business is the business that we do every, that they pay us every week. Yeah. And our uh, payments keep flowing in. So the, you know, the is still so very green. Even during the time of pandemic, we don't even know. Just that we're tired of staying at home. Mm. In short, um, the street where I stay, I'm the chairman of the street. You know, I what we do, we now we organize those of us that are doing, you know, not too badly. We organize and we're feeding the street people. Wow. During the pandemic. Wow. You know, so if the money wasn't coming, you know, I'll be crying. Outside the, you know, the street people, my family, extended family, you know, I was sending money to them here and now and then, you know. So even during the pandemic, I didn't feel it. 
Mm. It's just that uh, activities were down a little because the whole country, the whole world was shut down. Now, the good thing about our network, our business, um, <clears throat> if not that it's a pandemic, pandemic in the sense that it's a worldwide uh, problem, yeah. you know, the whole world was shut down. If, if it's just maybe it's a Nigeria thing, uh, no, no Grishas will not even feel it, especially those of us that have partners in different countries of the world, you know. Because uh, the, whole, the whole world was shut down, that was why we felt it a little. But even in pandemic, people are still taking their part. Even in pandemic, people are still brushing their teeth. So during that period, so people are still looking for where to buy this product. They, are, they were still buying the product. So it actually brought our earnings down, not that you know, we're not earning anything. Why a lot of people, they stop work, you know. Now, for instance, since the pandemic up to now, you know, since April to this time, a lot of people that, you know, are in the offshore, they shut down their site and since they are not working, they are not being paid. Even the private school teachers and all that, they are not being paid. But see us, even during the pandemic, people are still using our product. People are even buying more because we promote our products for them to boost their music system so that the, the corona stuff will not, will not get to them. Their system, you understand? So we will make a lot of sales that period. But it was hmm. not as much as, you know, before the pandemic. But people were keeping their money. They don't know when it's going to end so that they will not starve. So people were scared <laughs> of buying a lot of products that time. But I can tell you that even during that, that pandemic, my project was still on. Wow. You understand? I can make sure that my site never closed for one day. Wow. Because I'm using my total ID card to move around, you know. Wow. So I make sure that even my site is still, people are still working, you know, wow. throughout that month of pandemic. My site, my building site is still functional. So if there wasn't money, I would close down the site. <laughs> so there was so much money to go through around during the pandemic. There was so much. I, I, I like the way you are being modest, and I, I know the history, so I won't push you too much. I, I, I like mm -hmm. your I like your modest style, but I, I know the background, so I won't push you too much. But I still want to take you up on this. You talked about the three types of businesses, uh, 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 people in the business, the product user, the business builder, and the investor. And I think I'm like, <clears throat> I don't like talking. I'm, a, I'm an introvert. How will I build the business? It's all about talking. I'm an introvert. I can sit down here till tomorrow. I'm not talking to anybody. How the, how did you build your business to become a star director? I don't want to. I know you're a star director, sir. This one you have been very nice and modest. And yeah, it's a, people, he's a star director. I said it when I was introducing <laughs> him. Don't be deceived. He's a star director. Director. <laughs> how did you build to get to this level? Okay, uh, one thing uh, we want people to know about this business, you just have to be, you just have to be you, okay? You don't have, you just have to be you. Don't compare yourself. Just be original you. Don't, don't be, be an original you. Don't uh, try to be like somebody else. You understand? Mm. In as much as we have role models in the business, but don't, don't try to be like them. Just be yourself, okay? Um, one thing about uh, network marketing I know is that you have to, your reputation speak for you. Because in this business, I tell people, people don't join the business, they join you. Yeah. You understand? They will tell you that, ah, because this is coming from you, I don't like this kind of business again. No. But this is coming from you that is why i want to join you okay so when i started the business because number one i was kind of scared you know when i start now i'm just a secondary school neighbor you know i will be i'll be forced to talk to graduates to phd to professors you know because once you start you have to start uh, doing presentations and you don't have to wear you know um, kind of announcing your presentations for people to come, you don't have to tell them that it's only secondary school people that I want to come. You know, it's for everybody that wants more out of life. Now, my, my fear then was that how do I start talking to people? 
Now, I am good at one on one to those I know, my one market. I, you know, I talk to them, I tell them I found a, a new business that uh, I see a lot of people making money and I want to make money too in that business. I want them to join me. You know, I talk to them good on that, this one on one, but to some extent, you know, and many of them join me because of the kind of person they know me to be. You know, that I will not lie to them, not deceive them. They join me and the business started. Now, we started group presentations. Now, when, when I started group presentation, my upline, they, they have been transferred to Worry in 2000. And they transferred them to Worry in 2000, late 2015. Okay. You know, so then I, anytime I gather these people, I make sure I go and drag in. <laughs> to come and do the presentation mm. you understand because then the truth is that it took me close to one year before i started presenting myself wow. you know so i i brought I, I always call him then when i've gathered i'm good at gathering people because if i call them they will always come you know so after i not gather the people to sit because when i tell you i ah, come with your friends they will call with their friends you know, so after I gather the people now, the problem is, what do I tell them? Mm. <laughs> you know, so I I always wait for my offline. It would do. If you didn't for now, if we are supposed to start 12 o'clock, if you didn't say 130, I will not even say anything. I will stay outside. <laughs> I'll be waiting for my offline to come. <laughs> you know, mm. I'll be calling him. Ah, Mr. Abansi, where are you now? Hey, the people, people I will go in now, the whole is filled. You know, so... I always drag him, you know. So if you are just like me and you're on this corner, know that you leverage on your upline to start the business. Leverage on your upline. Now, yeah, leverage on your upline to start your business. And leverage on their success story too to build your business. You know, because the one, one of the problems we always face here is that people will not tell you that uh, uh, since you don't join, I don't join for three months, how much they don't pay you. Mm. You know, things like that. But you must let them know that it's a business and you don't start making money the day you start a business. You have to build it before you start bringing money. You show them the picture, the people that have, you know, qualified and all that. You can even tell, tell your upline to make call. Your uplines that have got, gotten a lot of success in the business to yeah. close the deal and all that. So that is how I actually build my business. I think there was no magic to it. You understand? That is how I keep you know, keep talking. The, the issue is that I was persistent. Even yeah. at the first, the first year, the first year was really, really tough for me. Tough. Tough as in tough. But what I did is that each time I really wanted to quit, you know, I remember that people are making it in this business. You know, when the, all the rejections were coming, I actually wanted to quit. But I remember that people are making it in this business. If they can't make it, then me, I can actually make it. Wow. You know, then I started reading books. I learned about this uh, GoPro by Rick Warren. Yeah. I started reading that book. I and I heard about uh, this book. Um, sorry, let me bring it. This yeah. book. Have you seen it before? Your yes. first year in network Your first marketing. Said, yes. 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 I I stumbled onto it when I was looking for. Um, I I was browsing. I was doing a lot of research myself. You know, I the list of books that I should read. I, I after it was one of it. I mm -hmm. got that book and I started reading it and uh, eat that frog too. You eat know, by Brian Tracy. Yes. So those books they actually saved me from leaving the business. So those are the things that you know when I start, especially this um, uh, your first year network marketing that talks about rejection enough and all that how. Even father were destroying their children because they enroll into network marketing and all yeah. that. And I find out that this thing is not a Nigeria thing. It's not an African thing. It's, it's global. Mm. You know, it's something that is happening everywhere. So those things now give me a kind of uh, muscle to keep pushing. You know, that is how I actually survived my first one, one and first and second year anyway, because my first year i was able to qualify for my first car you know 
uh, qualify for my first China trip. And that one I open up my business for, you know, for more growth. Then another thing actually happened, you know, remember that I work in the oil sector and yeah. uh, a lot of people feel that, okay, you have money. The people keep telling me that, okay, Eric, you have money. You know, um, how much have you invested? You know, they keep telling me, how much have you invested? How much have you invested? I told them, this is not money. It's not investment. You don't need to spend all your money here. In short, let me tell you, shock you. I don't even spend money on my qualification. I don't spend my money to qualify. I don't buy to qualify. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never bought to qualify. So they keep telling me, how, how, uh, how much have you invested? How much have you invested? They believe that you have to invest money, you know, to qualify. Because uh, they know that 2.6 million, that was my first car qualification, yeah. was not a big money for me. Mm-hmm. So they were like, maybe I, I just use my money to do it and qualify and all that, you know. So that would become a problem in my first one year. But as time goes on, my second year, which is 2017, and I brought in um, other people, and one of them is my tenant today, Mr. Michael Terry, who is a diamond seven now. You wow. know, he came to my compound very, very broke. You know, was begging to eat when he came to my compound. And I got him on board the business. And within a year, he got his car too. So wow. I qualified for, for three. So after that, I, when they asked me, how much have you invested? I said, go and ask Mr. Michael that can not eat before he joined the business. How much he has invested? He can could not eat before he joined the business. Yeah, he it. could not eat. Mm. <laughs> I qualified too. So mm. if you are invest, if you have to invest to qualify, how much do you think that man have to invest? Somebody that cannot go stuff even one square meal in a day unless he beg for it. Mm. You understand? So that is when. Uh, when Mike, because the business is that when you get people qualify in your downlines, you know, you actually open the gate, you know, for more people to come in because they have seen other qualifications outside you. So that is how I actually built from my second year. I started doing presentations, started doing back to back and all that. So with God, that is what, how it gets me to where I am now as a star director. Yes, indeed. How it got you to where you are now as a star I had to put that picture up. When somebody was saying star director, <laughs> I had to put that picture up. Uh, and oh guy, okay. you are a guy here. Oh, serious guy. <laughs> awesome. See, Thank you for life, sharing your life, life start. Life start at 60. I'm still very far from 60. <laughs> <laughs> Life starts from I like that. Yeah, yeah. When there is money, we can put, we can move it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And with no good product, you or you ever you are ever green. You are always young. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I will hold you on there for everybody on this call. I want to come back to you again. Um, this is our seventeenth edition, like I had said earlier, and t- next Saturday we'll be hosting another powerful lady in the business, Mrs. Lorita Ejejowo. My husband must teach me that one very well before next week. We'll be hosting her next Saturday, and she'll be in the house ready to share her heart with us again. Mr. Eric, you know, one of the things that have been a joy for us during this program is that it's not specific to the game changers at all. It's open to everyone. And I want to thank all the leaders from the various teams who are on this call. Thank you so much, all the leaders that are on the call. Thank you very much for standing by us, for supporting us, for being a part of this. And for our Facebook audience, I've been on my other phone on Facebook watching those who are there too. Thank you so much, every single person for joining on this call. We're going to do it again next Saturday by the grace of God. So, Mr. Eric, I'm back to you. You said some very powerful things that I couldn't forget. You said, number one, use your upline. Number two, leverage on their success story to build your business. Number three, be consistent. You talked about personal development, and then you talked about team building. Now, I want to pick you a bit on team building and... um, a lot of leaders are on this call as well who are struggling with team building. 
people are like the most difficult to deal with you can predict machines you cannot predict people how did you build your team maybe i should uh, ask you uh, first, how large is your team how many hundreds of thousands are in your team my team they are not i don't have a very large team i have uh, as of today i have um, Devil Tars or eight hundred and fifty wow. membership. Wow. You know, it's not a very large team, but uh, eleven thousand know, mighty men that produce a star director. Ah <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I be when I became a star director I was nine thousand six hundred. Wow. You know, yes. Um so I'm I'm close to twelve thousand now, my team members. Wow. But close awesome. to 12,000, yes, and it's multiplying by the that day. That is a large team. Five people is a lot. 12,000 is huge. How have you managed team building? Well, uh, first and foremost, okay, first and foremost, the orientation matters a lot, okay? When you bring in people into this business, you must draw the line. Mm. You know, you, they must know their role in this business. They must understand that they are in the business for themselves, but not by themselves. Mm. You know, you must let them understand that it is their own business, mm. not mm. your business. Mm. You know, don't make them look as if they are working for you. Then they are not, not doing you a favor. They are not doing you a favor at all. I tell them, you know, when I started, Mr. Bassi is my direct offline. You know, the first one year, my I'm the only person that was very active on his leg. So I ended up getting my trip and I got um, my first car. And remember, he was the one that was doing most of the presentations for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But at the end of the day, when I got my car, he did not qualify for his own. Wow. When I got my first trip, he did not uh, qualify for his own trip too. So you are doing this you business know, so, for yourself, basically. So it is for myself, not by myself. Mm. You know, so it's you as an offline, they are just you are there to help them build their own business. You are just a link, you know. Let them know they should not uh, most time when I sure when I started I when I sign you up, I'll let you know that look, this farm that I've come, I'm, I've come to show you a farmland that is very fertile, okay? It is left for you to farm it very well and mm. have good um, harvest. So if you didn't do it very well, don't hold me responsible because, because the, the farm that I'm showing you now is very, very fertile. Look mm. at people that have gotten a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, harvest from this same farm. So it's left for you. So you must draw the line. Mm -hmm. You know, you must draw the line, you must uh, give them the proper expectation. You know, you must let them know that because most of them, in short, my first one year, when I want to qualify for the car, there's one down that I have. She was like, uh, she's not going to post anything again. Let's ask see how I will get it. She didn't tell me, she told somebody that told me. But I did answer, but I went ahead and still qualified. You mm -hmm. understand? So the truth is, the, the business is your own business. Your offline should not be used as a, an excuse. It's I'm just excuse. a resource. If yeah. it's not even there, if it's not even there. You see, let me tell you, Mr. B, it was 2017. He eventually left the business because of one distraction or the yes. other. And, you know, he came back in around June 20. 2018 so like one year six months he wasn't doing the business but i was doing the business i still went ahead and qualified for my 2017 car you know <laughs> because at least my first one year you know i have learned some things from him i have to improve on those things i run my business myself mm. because since it's not there you know i have to find a way to run my business because my business not his business mm. you know my, for, me, for the fact that my PVs are counting for him, his own PV is still counting for somebody. True. You understand? Uh -huh. So if I now say, uh, Mr. B, don't want to do it again, then I stopped. I'll not be where I am today. True. You understand? Uh -huh. So uh, my own approach towards my uh, partners, 
when you come on board, I know that team building is very important and uh, the orientation is far, far more important. Mm. You must let them must draw the line between the, the two of you. Let them know their role and let them know your own role too. So if they are not doing their own part, you know, then there is no part you play in their own uh, uh, business. So yeah. that is just basically what I do. But me as a, the team leader, I'm always in the forefront, you understand, bringing in uh, programs um, and things that we need to do. Those that are run, ready to run with me, I run. Those that are not ready, I keep them aside. When anytime they are ready, I'm ready. Short, a few people that I signed up like two years ago, it's not they are waking up. Mm. You know, their code is there waiting for them. <laughs> you understand? When they see you, you know, getting all the qualifications without them, it's not you that will tell them to come back to run their business. Mm. So that is my own approach. I, I, there's a way I run my team members, you know, because everybody has their strength too. Yeah. There are people there that you, you really see that they are, they really want to do the business, but uh, for one reason or the other, the team is not, they are not really pushing as hard as they should, should. But when you try to push them too much, it's like you are giving them too much work to do. I see celebrate them at that level. You mm. understand? Uh -huh. uh, for you to get, you know, because some people, they will be thinking, they, 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 everybody, even December last year, I was with our first star director, Onushi mm. Abraham, you know. Onushi Abraham still has a weak leg. Mm. Everybody has their own weak legs. Mm. You know, Matiti has his own weak legs. Before, you know, he struggled to get to that five-star director. He has his own weak leg that every time he see cracking his head. You know, you see the star director, you think they have gotten it all. No, we still have our weak legs that is still giving us headache. But how do we make, get everybody to work? You keep on recruiting. You have to be in forefront of the recruiting because, uh, what is it called? They say new blood is the life blood of this our business. You keep in bringing in people. You, you see people that, you know, uh, some are doing, now you can, okay, the day I sign up this my uh, tenant that's already a diamond seven, you know, the day I signed him up, I signed up another lady up. That lady, she, I saw her, she was very, she was the one that was going around, you know, she was, this uh, waste management, she worked okay. with them. And you see her struggling up and down, you know, inside sun, inside rain, for 20,000 naira salary, mm. you know. And I got her on board. The same day I got uh, my tenant on board, you know, the business. But today now, she's still, uh, she's a pre-diamond. She has never wow. gone to one diamond. Wow. <laughs> you understand? So you don't have to ask yourself, why, 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 why? No. You know, what I have learned over the years is that, those that are doing 30%, leave them to do that, they are 30%. Those that want to do 50%, leave them. Those that are doing 100%, leave them to do their 100%. Mm. Now, how do you not get more people to do 100%? You keep on getting more people into the system. You know, the more people you are getting, maybe you get one, two, three hundred percent that will be doing the, the same work those other people are doing. Don't think that we, as I am as a star director, I still run my business as if, mm. you know, uh, I've not even achieved anything in the business because the, the one star is just the beginning of the business. Mm. You know, you, you have two star, three star, four star, and five star. I don't want to stay in, in one star forever. So what do I need to do? I need to build. And there are still weak legs that, you know, I'm still working on, I'm still looking for somebody that will run with those legs. Mm. So it is not even easy for us. People may think that you make all the old money. Money is not ever is never enough. Money is never <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know. So that is it, madam. Wow, money is never enough. But you know something you so, said is just so true. So your upline is a resource, not <clears throat> an excuse. And that is so true. Your upline is a resource, not an excuse. I have a question here for you to answer. Say, so, sir. How was it possible that you qualified for CAR and your upline did not qualify? How was that possible? Okay. You know, Nongrish is a very unique company. True. It's a very unique company. And I tell people that 
Longridge, before they established, you know, Longridge has been in business, it has been in existence for 34 years. And we just started the network aspect of Longridge in 2009, which is we yeah. are just 11 years as network marketer. Before then, we are will be producing for other companies. Now, before Nongrish came into this uh, arena of network marketing, they actually did a lot of research. That's why Longridge, since the inception of Longridge, they are even getting better. They have not shifted their goalposts. You know, you know when we started. Sorry, that I'm you know deviating. I'm just trying to prove a point. Yeah, go now, when we, when we started the business, it was only five million, uh, 2.6 million naira car. Mm. For many years, it was in 2000, 2018 that Alice now brought, uh, you know, 3.5, uh, 6 million, and 10 million. 10 million. You understand? The last year now, you know, he doubled it. We now have one for about 30 million last year, mm -hmm. you know. Now, Nongri, since they started, they have not shifted their goalposts. They mm -hmm. have not changed their compensation plan. <clears throat> Even with the inflow of so many people into the business, Nongri has, from the beginning, before they started the business, they have got, done a whole lot of research. Okay? And when they now do all this research, and they now come up with their compensation plan, now the compensation plan and has told you that even with one leg, with one leg, if you are the sponsor, you can actually make so much money. That is true. Yeah. You know, I have somebody who is a diamond three that has a, a two star director as a downline that earns, you know, more than two million naira in a month. Hmm. Okay. So Longish, they did it that way, but it's only leadership bonus that he earns. Mm. Leadership and retail bonus that he earned. Mm. Now, Nongrish, the 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 source said it that for any promo that is coming, the three legs has to have some activities. Yeah, you know, uh -huh, like the car that is running now, for you to qualify for, you know, that uh, uh, five million naira car, you need one hundred ten thousand PV, and each of the legs need to produce thirty five thousand, thirty five thousand, thirty five thousand. Mm. So even though if you one of your net produce one million PV, and the other less cannot get that 35, 35, you're not qualified. True. So that is that is what happened. You know that my upline, I my leg produced something for a full car, but mm. the other less could not meet up with the other target. That is why I have to qualify. Let, let me shock you. Yeah. You know, it was I've gotten four cars so far from Longridge, but it was just this 2019 to 2020 car. That was the first time my offline is qualifying for a car. Wow. You understand? Uh -huh. So it, that's why I always hammer on it that it is not your offline business. It is your business. Mm. You, you can go ahead. I hope I was here, two, was it two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. And this thing, I was on call. I was on that call. Uh, you know, I, yeah. yes. I I left before you guys closed. But Ahoma said the offline is still Diamond 3. Yes. If yes. I can remember clearly. Yes. Okay. Ahoma is somebody that's going to three star director, but the offline is still Diamond mm -hmm. 3. Yes. Meaning Ahoma has qualified for more than the himself and the family. They have qualified for more than 10 cars, but mm -hmm. the offline has not qualified for everyone. Wow, you understand. So, yeah, it's, it's leg balancing, it's leg balancing, it's leg balancing. Yes, very, very true. Somebody, in fact, and really, Mr. B is not even a star director yet, and is your upline, no, and you're no, a star no. director already. Yeah, yeah, he's diamond seven. The diamond seven. Yeah. Uh, somebody said to me that you are owing him a drink. My husband says, Tell him he's owing me a drink as a senior citizen. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. Drink is no problem. We are not looking for money for drink. If it's money for drink, we would have stopped working. So tell that that drink, which he will get it. 
Harry. I'm very young. <laughs> Daddy, welcome, sir. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I mean, I've had fun talking to you. Wow, we've spent more than one hour. It looks as if we just run 30 minutes on this call. Do you have anybody that has a question before I ask him for his final word? Do I have, I'm looking at Facebook too. Do I have any question in the house? Mr. Mokoro, you, you, you broke down a whole lot for people on this call today. Someone said, language is mad, do fuckers. Yes, four cards. Mm -hmm. You know, they... that's even small. That even small. Madam, be sorry. Let me let yes. me say something. Yes, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I started, because I wasn't sure of the business, I refused to bring in my family members. Wow. You know, my fear, like I told you, my fear then is that I'm not good at talking. Okay, I don't have this uh, gift for spoken words. So. I was like, if I bring my three family members, they were telling me, bring your family member, bring your family member. I was like, if I bring my family member, it means that I have to look for nine people, three, three people on each of the legs for them. I said, ah, that work, I'm not going to fit one more. Let me just work with strangers. You know, wow. that was why I didn't bring my family members. You know, and I brought in strangers. And it was when I go for my first car award in October 2016 that I saw children you know, mm. being awarded cars. That is when I came back, I actually signed up my daughter. My daughter is close to Damon Sisna. On wow. The, on the long range platform. You know, so this business is a family business. Anybody that has not joined or you have joined and your family are not on this call, please don't hesitate. Just go back on Monday and start signing up all your family members. Mm. That's just what I want to add. Thank you so much. If you're on this call and your family members are not yet, please quickly sign them up right away. The final question I will take, somebody is asking, how do you balance your legs? <clears throat> okay, balancing your legs is make, making sure there are activities on your three legs. Yes. That make sure that there are activities, there are people moving the business in your different legs. Mm. Okay. I don't know if the person has joined. Yes, she's if the person has, If she has joined, then the person must be new here. Yeah. You know, because you know that only one leg, you know, only one leg cannot really give you a lot of money. True. You know, it's when you have the three legs working, you know, that you have a lot of money. Now, how do you stretch your legs? You know, when I started, my, the weakest leg I have, as I speak with you, was my strongest leg. Mm. When I started the business, yes. The weakest leg was my strongest leg. Now, when I, that same year, one of the leg, the, the one I have my um, tenant running now, you know, was my weakest leg. So what I do, I keep signing up people under that leg. You know, in short, as I speak with you now, that my tenant is my level generation on that leg. Mm. And he is the one that is from Diamond 7 on that leg. We don't even have any Diamond. Okay, we have one Diamond 3 in his upline. But with all, all the rest people, those 10 people that is under, they are all Diamond 2, Diamond 2, Diamond 2. So all you need to do is keep on dropping somebody there teaching the person what to do. If the person refuses to do, you bring another person and put there until you get somebody that will run the leg. So balancing of leg is constantly bringing in new people into the business and teaching them what to do until you see the person that wants to carry the vision and run the business the way you are running it. Wow, thank you so much. One of the things you have done for us is the simplicity with which you have explained this business. You have brought it down to the barest minimum and everybody and everybody will understand this business and like i said earlier if you're on this call and you have not yet signed up on long reach talk to the person that brought you on this call or reach out to any of us on the game changers network platform or send a text to 0802 313 4278 0802 312 4278 that would help you. Thank you so much for being uh, uh, with us today, Mr. Mukoro. You have really been a blessing to us. We have learned so much from you. You have challenged us. And I know that for everyone on this uh, call, definitely 
our business are going to take a total turnaround for the better. I know that so well. And you will hear our story. We are all coming up to the star directorship place where it's the yeah, we are waiting, crowded we are waiting for you guys. <laughs> we will see you there very soon. Very soon. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. We are waiting. Much. Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tim Coach, are you saying anything? Thank you, SD Eric. Yeah, uh, Daddy, I really... can see you. <laughs> Thank you for, for blasting us to this evening. It was a powerful session. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you. When next time well, I will call you so that I can give me starch. <laughs> <laughs> starch and the wool soup. Yes, so <laughs> <laughs> thank you very but much. Coincidentally, I don't eat uh, starch. <laughs> <laughs> I think both of you are in the same class, so I will, I will give that secret out. I think both of you are together. I eat starch, he doesn't. Imagine. I'm the one that eats the starch, he doesn't. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for being on this call. Of course, I will come again. So I expect you to come again very soon. Thank you very much. And to everyone joining us today, thank you so much for being on this call. Let's do it again together next week, Saturday, when we'll be having SD Lorita on the call. Thank you so much, every single person. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the evening, a great Sunday, and a powerful week ahead. Thank you so, thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank you.